Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja. Today, we're going to take another look at the Sling Player application. I've had some time to fiddle around with it, get some parts, and try out different things. For those who are not familiar with the Sling Player app, it enables you to connect a Sling Player box to your cable box, your TV, your computer, you know, anything that basically can output a video signal. And then you're able to remotely connect to your Sling, sling Player using either a web browser or um, an Android application or an iPhone application and view that video output. So, of course, you can imagine one of the big things that it's used for is TV. And um, I show in a prior video how t the TV works and you can use your DVR and it actually integrates a remote control feature with it and so you're able to control your, your, all your features of your um, cable box remotely from your Zoom or your web browser. Very, very cool. But I wanted to uh, take this one, one step further. I, wa I wanted to unlock a couple other, other features that I, r I really like. So let's, let's take a look. So we're going to go to Devices, and I'm going to go to switch to a different video input. So my, my Microsoft VCR, which is, all, all that is, it's, a, it's, it's my um, controller setting. We're actually connecting to my Xbox 360. Just so everyone doesn't all of a sudden go jumping for joy, uh, I'm not going to show you how to um, play video games over the internet using Slingbox. There is too much delay. In movies, that delay is inherent. You, you have, you know, maybe five or ten seconds delay, but since you're watching it consistently streamed, you don't notice it, but from playing a video game, it's, it's completely unworkable. So you can see weak or no video signal. That is because my Xbox is not turned on, so let's uh, first go to um, the, uh, and power it on using the, the control panel. Hopefully in a couple seconds my Xbox will remotely turn on. There we go. So another, another cool thing that the Xbox 360 brings is, you know, it has the, the Zune market so you can actually download or stream on-demand videos. It also has the media player, so if you have any media player um, videos and so forth stored on your media player PC, you can watch them from this interface. So it, it's really nice, and then, you know, you can navigate just like you, you could in anything else. Um, on the sling player, so we're going to go up. So you can see, yeah, we can uh, enjoy the latest uh, Zune videos, and you know, Xbox 360 has a really nice uh, on-demand ESPN, which you could always watch um, remotely now as well. And we're just going to go over to Netflix. So the quality is pretty well for, right? it, it's, it's hooked up using component cables, but it's not streaming high definition. If you want to stream high definition, you need to get the Sling, Sling Play, Slingbox HD. But as of now, there's no Android app that takes advantage of it. Um, I, I suspect Sling Player will come out with an application that does that. So if you're waiting for that, I would wait because they're probably going to sell that additional app for additional 30 bucks because that's exactly what they did for the iPhone. Um, they sold a smartphone version for 30 and many people bought that for their iPad and then were very disappointed when a couple months later they released a high def version for the iPad and they had to pay another 30 bucks for it. So just heads up in case that is your um, reason for, for, for diving into this. But you can see, you, you know, you can use the interface go through, check your queue out, and um, hopefully we'll, we'll watch some Netflix, right? 
So let's go over to. Okay. And there we go. So, actually, one thing you can hear, you can actually hear the, the audio from my other, my other uh, cable box. So we're going to go back there and actually turn it off. So you can see you can switch between the two, which is, which is really nice. So I'm going to go in and goodbye. Oh, wrong button. Power on off. Okay, so now we're going to switch back. So you can see there's another video input S video. So if I wanted, I could hook up another video input and have three things going. And a couple of you out there might be saying, hey, the Slingbox Solo only lets you hook up one device at a time. And that is somewhat true. So in a separate video, I'm going to release a little bit after this one, I'm going to show you how to hook up multiple devices to a Slingbox Solo. And it's only going to cost you maybe another 18 bucks. And I'll break down the part list and, and show you how to do that. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit of a hack that requires you to turn off one box and then the other. Or turn off one device, audio, and then turn on the other but it's well worth not paying the additional maybe a hundred and twenty bucks for the HD if you if you don't want the HD to begin with and especially for for us right now my primary use is for the Android there, there's not even an HD version out so I didn't want to pay that extra money so I have one little additional surprise for you so I got my video and audio output cord so I'm gonna hook that up into the bottom So you can see the, the screen jumped a little bit. And you might also tell that the audio changed a little. So I'm going to just zoom on out for a second. And then I'm going to rise up. And there you go. So this is streaming exactly from my Zoom. Um, this is about three and a half feet tall. I'm using a projector. So it works very well. The audio and the video are coming from the HDMI output. output, And you can see the, uh, the quality is, is fairly good. And, you know, on smaller TVs, of course, it, it gets better because the pixels aren't being stretched as much. So I'm going to push my projector in a little. And you can see even the, even the focus gets even better. And that's... And that's around um, 60 inches right there. So the so the video and the output and being able to watch basically a portable cable box and being able to stream Netflix through it. Th this is a very powerful app. Um, also, if you have Windows Media Center and you rip a lot of DVDs of your own collection, of course, you um. You can hook this up to your, your, your Windows Media Center and play all your DVD collection um, using the Slingbox and then watch it remotely wherever you are. Very, 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 very cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. The video afterwards is going to show how to take advantage of the Slingbox Solo and get multiple inputs in it. If you have any more questions regarding this, please let me know. If you want to see anything else hooked up to video out, please let me know. And um, if you like this video, please like. Please subscribe to my channel. Daily updates. And I overview paid applications. So you can really see them. You can ask to see applications I haven't reviewed before you purchase them. Why wouldn't you want to take advantage of that? You are an amazing audience. I really love this Android community. Thank you so much. Have a great day.